Hey loves, it's been a very long time, but because I'm going to have a lot of different haunts on my schedule for this year, I wanted to bring back my kind of haunted house review. I apologize that I don't really have a good setup like I normally, well, like I used to try to do for my YouTube channel. Um, I've been moving around a lot and I literally just walked back through the door like it is 1230 at night. But I wanted to do a fresh review of this haunt uh, while it was still in my mind. So tonight, me and my group of friends... Uh, we went to Spooky Bottom Haunted Trail, which is located in Seagrove, North Carolina, I believe. I've never been to it before. This was the first time I attended it. Um, I still have my wristband that they give you for going through on the trail, their general admission. And then, um, I'll show you. We bought tickets in advance to go. They had a really good, like, 30% off for their opening weekend. So, boom, Spooky Bottom. Um, do, 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 yes, Seagrove. It's $30 for general admission. They also have a Jelly Ball UV experience, which was $10. Um, parking is $5 cash. And they have a really neat entryway when you first get in that has, like, the spooky bottom name on it with, like, a creature that's kind of coming over it like this. It's really cool looking. Um, as soon as you're done there, they go into a security section where they would check your bags and do the wands. And then you go kind of into like their uh, midway section where you have like the porta potties. You had a concession stand with a couple different drinks and food. Then there was uh, different options as far as the general admission um, versus VIP or fast pass, I guess, access to go into the main uh, walkthrough trail, which was about a 30, 40 minute walkthrough. And then in the front section where that first ticket booth was, to the right hand side is the UV paintball experience. The UV paintball experience is more like, it's called like jelly ball, I think. I'm so sorry. Um, they're like little black light paintballs. Um, there's between two to five zombies that are like your targets that are actual actors that are running around. Um, if you want to attack one another, that's kind of up to your group. They said it was the equivalent of kind of like a rubber band snap if you're too close to somebody, so it's not something you can really get hurt doing. Um, all of the staff were very nice. Everybody was very sweet, uh, very open. Um, we talked to the owner while we were there. We talked to a lot of the different staff members. There was a little girl that was there. Uh, she was giving out candy. She was kind of showing us the lay of the land. She was very nice. The trail itself, um, we were told after the fact that they had been short staffed tonight, but really they kind of hit the target on all the good points. Um, they had a good variety in what they were offering. They had some good scares that were in there. They didn't overdo the strobe light, which was fantastic. There wasn't too much chainsaw. There was just one at one point, which was like a camping scene. Um, I wouldn't say it's not like the the best haunt that I've been to, um, but it was really good. Tommy has, oh, he doesn't want me to pick him up. Um, <laughs> it was good. I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10, to be honest, um, where it was one that I will definitely go back to in the future. I hope that they're able to have more of a staff than what they had tonight. Again, for what they had, they did a very good job. Everybody was very nice. We were told about an experience that had happened last night, which was their opening night, that I think was definitely a deterrent for there to be a bigger crowd of individuals there. It's nothing against the haunt. They have done nothing wrong. They did everything that they could, you know, to increase their security and protection of everybody. Um, like I said, it's $30 for general admission plus 10 to do the uh, jelly ball experience. I think it was called jelly ball instead of like paintball. Um, but yeah. So I would give it probably a 7 out of 10 in total. For my first time going, it's one I definitely would go to again. It's a little bit further out uh, than normal ones that I would go to. I think it was about... I wouldn't say it was like too far. It was like maybe an hour and a half away from where I live. And about almost two hours from where my friends were coming from. That They kind of came down, picked me up, and then we kept going. Um, I think that for it being... It started off... The owner was telling us it was something that they did in their backyard. They've only been doing it for about seven years. You can see where they've kind of tried to grow a little bit bigger in what they're doing. And they definitely have a direction that they're going in. So I'm really excited to see what they do with it next year. I hope that if you have it on your list or if you're looking for a couple different haunts to go to in the Carolinas, that that's one that you check out. 
Um, but for now, I'm going to go to bed. And uh, whatever pictures I have, I hope I've thrown them in here for you guys to check out. I didn't take a lot while we were there. There's a lot of really cool like photo opportunities, like a little throne section, a coffin, a really cool looking pumpkin. They had music playing while we were walking around, a bonfire. Um, they do have fog machines and the, the strobe lights and everything else everywhere. So, like I said, it was for being in the woods. It was a well-directed, well-lit haunt. There was never a point in time that I felt like it was dangerous or that I couldn't see. I've been to haunts before that you could have very easily stepped off the beaten path and there was no protection for you. There was a lot of times in, again, other haunts that I felt like it would definitely need a little bit more security or was kind of dangerous. Um, maybe not very well carved out of where you were supposed to go. And the idea of it, I get if it's dark and you want to kind of have that extra added layer of fear. But if you don't really protect the people who are walking through and you don't look out for ditches where somebody could twist their ankle or shop corners where somebody could run into something and hurt themselves, you really do need to be careful on those different counts. And there was none of that that I've noticed while walking through this one. So Spooky Bottom gets a 7 out of 10. Definitely want to go back. I'm hoping we can bump that number up a little bit. If you guys end up going or have been in the past, leave a comment below so that I know. Um, or if you have another one that you want me to check out and review for you this haunt season. But this was the one that kicked us off. It was the first one of the haunt season. I was very excited to be able to go to it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful jump start to your haunt season. And I hope I'll be able to do more of these for you. Bye.